Come In closing, let me say that in growing up here and having been a product of the Raytown School District, I've always been very, very proud of the school district and the teachers that I've been associated with and the administration that I've been associated, associated with and the school district uh, people. I've been, and I also have a son who's autistic who graduated from Raytown South High School in 2008. He started out in Lee Summit with his mother. He moved to Raytown with me uh, and he just really blossomed. <laughs> I can't tell you how much they did for my son. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to work in Raytown because I grew up here. I wanted to make a difference to the community and make it safer and service the folks here with whatever I could do to help them. I am a board member of REAP, member of Masonic Lodge, 391, scout leader, assistant coach at one time of the youth soccer league, involved, as I said, with youth friends here. I'm the secretary of the Raytown Police Benefit Fund, which we've raised over $100,000 through a REAP Police Benefit Fund golf tournament every year that disperses those funds to things like youth sports, REAP, Raytown School Programs, Operation Grad, sports programs such as, I'm sorry, Raytown Educational Foundation and many other related programs, summer lunch ministry, Kiwanis Club, Rotary, and Raytown Chamber of Commerce through the, the uh, sponsorships of their golf tournaments. Hope House, Martin Luther King Legacy, and Special Olympics, to name a few. I'm the recipient of the 2014 Truman Heartland Foundation Raytown Outstanding Citizen of the Year, which is recognition for the community members that have used skills, abilities, and positions to promote the well-being of communities and the people who live in them. And I have some other awards. I do love assisting people and helping people, and I will promise that's what I will do. Thank you. Thanks for the question there. Also, uh, one of the biggest reasons why I'm running or one of, the, one of my foremost things on my mind to be mayor is the, the home values and the property values of our community and, and all the things that relate to that. To the, and the word community comes in big there. The school district, uh, as the school district goes, so goes the values of the homes in town. So goes our quality of life. The school district is wrapped in is wrapped up in that so intricately. It's amazing. My first year as an alderman, I was the liaison to the school district. I believe Kathy Mack was the liaison from the board to the city. I want to bring that back because it was a great program. It was a great way for the city and the school district to get together and think what we can do together. There's so many opportunities. This year we just had a great basketball program through our Raytown Parks and Rec, partnering with the school district for the gymnasiums. Uh, it worked out well. Over 420 some students got to play basketball. I hope some of them were here. We, there's other opportunities that the, that the school district and the city of Raytown can partner with. We just need to be able to talk and keep the communications open. Because when the school district does better, the city does better. When the city does better, the school district does better. It's, it's a very simple thing. I plan on being, a, like I said, a very accessible mayor. I plan on listening to everyone, and Trinity can make sure that whatever I said in my speech, I, I do, okay, <laughs> if she's still here. <laughs> uh, I really thank you all for the opportunity to speak tonight. Uh, it, and thanks for the pizza and everything. And I, and I thank everyone up here for their service to the community. Raytown is a city I love, and I ask for your vote on April 7th. Thank you for being here tonight. This is Raytown Online, oh yes. Raytown's premier website news. This is Raytown Online.